What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors with Creed Gun Talk. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to this channel, helping it to grow, become a better channel, helping me become a better content provider. Um, if you haven't heard already, if you haven't seen the last video, I finally hit my 100 subscribers. So I'm still gonna be doing that real giveaway. In fact, this weekend, uh, this weekend, 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time, 6 p.m. Central Time, I will be doing a live video to do that real giveaway where I will pick whoever the uh, the winner is. So make sure you tune in, 6 p.m. Central Time. You know, I'll, that'll be the time I start getting everything going. We'll wait a little bit to see how many people actually, you know, log on and start watching the video and stuff. And then I'll go ahead and do the uh, spin the little wheel and figure out who that winner is and announce that winner. But uh, again, thank you everybody. If you haven't, it is too late for you to get your name in the hat for that real giveaway. However, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified anytime I do a video or do any kind of live video. Also, if you like the videos and you like the content that I'm putting out, please, please, please smash that thumbs up button and drop comments down below. I greatly appreciate that and I will continue to do my best to put out content that you guys are looking forward to. Um, I still haven't got a chance to get out there on the water or get out in the woods. I'm sorry, get out in the woods and get some, some hunting stuff from my Instagram or Facebook. I'm still, I've got plenty of time to get that done. I've got all the way until February. So, I'm, I'm not even worried about that. I've still got time and I'm hoping to get out on the water here soon to get some fishing videos in, especially with a lot of those lures that I've been getting from my monster bass. But other than that, I hope everybody had a, a very good, uh, blessed Thanksgiving. I did. Anytime I get to spend with my family, it's always a blessing because we never know how much longer we've got here on earth or you know, if our health take a turn for the worse and we're laid up in the hospital somewhere. So always show appreciation and thanks to your family members. Even if y'all have a disagreement about something, find a way to get past that. Love one another, enjoy one another. And let's not forget those that are in the hospital. Let's not also forget my, my brothers and sisters who were overseas during Thanksgiving or if your dinner table was the inside of a patrol car, thank you for serving our country. Thank you for serving your community. Nobody has forgotten about you. We love you and greatly appreciate what you do. Now let's jump into this. This is a gun talk video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I've been thinking about them so much, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. This one, again, it's gonna be another uh, me critiquing uh, some product. So without further ado, I think I should start with the first product that I want to talk about. Y'all know how I am when it comes to my holsters and my guns. I'm a Blackhawk fan. Uh, Blackhawk is a company that was founded by a former Navy SEAL. So I've been a Blackhawk fan and here it is. The Blackhawk T-Series Duty Tactical Holster. Uh, this holster, the one that I, I previously used was the uh, Blackhawk Serpa Duty Holster. It had a thumb release on the side to activate the hood, as well as the Serpa Lock, which was the little locking mechanism right here. So as you grab your pistol and you indexed it, your finger would hit that lock right there to unlock it. Uh, a few things that they changed up with the T-Series, uh, the Serpa holster, if you had a light attached to your gun, you could only use the Blackhawk Xyphosis light. And a lot of people were running either the Surefire light or the Streamlight uh, flashlights on their pistols. And I think a lot of people reached out to Blackhawk and was saying, hey, we really love this, uh, this Serpa duty holster, but I don't want to switch lights. I don't want to buy a new light. So can y'all please go back to designing holsters for the Surefire and Streamlight flashlights? That's what I'm imagining people were saying. And Blackhawk was pretty much like, sure. So they redesigned the holster. We now have the T-Series. This one is a level three. 
Level three basically means right here, that is a tension screw. It tightens down the frame of the holster. So that creates tension right there for, uh, for the holster. So that's one safety feature. Safety feature number two, this one does have the hood on it. Uh, this one looks kind of like the old uh, the Safari Land hoods. But uh, this one, you have to hit this thumb release right here to pop the hood open. So that's safety feature number two. On the inside, I don't know if you guys can see it. There is a peg right here where my finger is at. If you see where my finger, there is a peg right here. That actually, I believe it grabs a hold of the flashlight and it helps retain the, the gun in the holster. So that's level three on the retention. So you've got one, two, three. So that's why this is called a level three duty holster. Now, the way you would do this, you put your gun in the holster and adjust your tension knob. Then after that, it's just simply, you flip your hood. You go to grab your gun, you squeeze with your thumb, you will disengage the hood as well as the internal locking mechanism in there. And at that point, you're able to draw your weapon out, present to your target, and if you're on the gun range, punch some holes in, in the paper target. Uh, this piece here, that is a protective covering because this holster is also designed for if you do put some kind of a optic system on your pistol. So I went with this one and the reason for that, uh, I love this holster so much. The reason I went with that one is because product number two is my favorite. No magazine around in the chamber clear and safe this is my brand new Glock 17 this is the Gen 5 and as you can see it is the MOS and on top of here I have the Holosun uh, 507 uh, red dot sight uh, actually this is a holographic sight and the reason why it's a holographic sight is because inside of there it has a hologram light that is projected onto the, the lens there uh, with this sight, I can cycle through two different reticles. I either have just a single dot, or I have the dot with the, the ring around it. Some people call it the donut, the death ring, or whatever it is. But So I went with this one. Uh, I was looking for this setup in the 40 caliber, since my other gun that I have is a 40 caliber, and I wanted to stay with that. But a lot of the law enforcement agencies have switched from 40 calibers, even from 45 caliber back down to nine millimeter count. So I went ahead and got me a Gen 17, or the Glock 17 Gen 5. Uh, the difference between this one and the 19, the 19 is the one that most people are always getting. Uh, the Glock 19 magazine capacity is 15 rounds. With the Glock 17 magazine capacity, 17 rounds. So now I can carry 17 rounds in each mag. I also have that equipped with a Streamlight TLR1 HL flashlight this thing is super bright and just to show you guys how bright it is again slide is locked back to the rear no ma uh, magazine in there but real quick that's how bright that light is this thing is bright it even has the warning signs on there to show you that this thing will get hot yeah this light puts off a thousand lumens that is super bright it does have strobe effect that would display right there so even if I don't have to discharge this weapon, this is my duty weapon that I carry now. Even if I don't have to discharge this weapon while on duty, if I hit that strobe effect, that will disorient anybody and give me a chance to move in on the suspect, take them down to the ground without even having to fire a shot off, which is ultimately the end goal is to try to get home safe for everybody. I go home, bad guy goes to jail, Whatever the case may be, but you always want to be safe. But, uh, so yeah, pick this one up. Uh, before I bought this, I did talk to the people at Glock as well as the people at Blackhawk. Uh, I tried to partner up with Blackhawk. Right now, they are currently not taking any more ambassadors, but they do support people that if you let them know that you really do love their product and 
uh, which I did. I reached out to them and told them I had a YouTube channel and stuff. And they gave me the green light. Hey, you can go ahead and mention our products and uh, in your videos. We would greatly appreciate that. So I told them no problem being a former uh, Navy veteran myself. And that was one of the reasons that I like their products and support them is because it was founded by another sailor. So we're all brothers. So I'm just happy to support mine. But those are two products that I want to show you guys. Uh, something new for, for me and Gun Talk is my new Blackhawk T-Series uh, Level 3 Duty Holster and the Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS setup. Um, I can take this off and put the plate back on and it'll look like a regular old pistol as well as my light. And But I, I kind of like this setup right here. It is really cool setup and there we go whenever I present my gun out I can look through there once I bring this up to my eyesight I can find that red dot real easy get on target and be very accurate uh, if I switch it over right now I have it just set on the red dot but if I switch it over to the dot inside of the circle anything within that circle is where I'm going to hit so if I'm in a situation where I need to get up and get on target fast as long as I've got that circle in the general area where I'm trying to hit, which is usually it's going to be center mass, as long as I've got that circle on there, that's where my rounds are going to go and that's what you want. You want to make sure that wherever you're aiming is where you're going to hit. When dealing with firearms, please, 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 please remember your firearm safety rules. Finger stays outside of this trigger guard, this piece here where I'm rubbing my finger. Finger stays outside of that trigger guard until you are ready to fire, such as gun is clear, present your firearm out to your target, ready to fire, bang. Once you're done, that finger comes back out of there. Do not aim your gun at anything that you don't plan on destroying. I'm here at my brother's house. I'm here by myself. There's nobody else walking around this house. So. I am aiming down this way, which is in the direction of his living room. I know there is nobody in there. So it is clear and safe for me to point in that direction. If there was somebody there, I would turn, face this way, where I am now facing into his kitchen, pointing at the door to his laundry room. There's nobody in the kitchen, clear and safe. So one of the main things is you treat every weapon as if it is loaded. Right now, this gun looks like it's loaded. If I handed this gun to another person, I would expect that person to lock the slide to the rear and visually inspect it to make sure it is not loaded before they do anything else. Never take the word of somebody else that a gun is clear and safe. It is your responsibility to check and make sure that it's clear and safe. So, just wanted to throw that in there because we've had some incidents here that, uh, not me personally or anything like that, but we've had some incidents that have made Really big news and simple firearm safety rules that should have been followed and wasn't. And we've had some pretty uh, tragic things that have happened. So please be mindful and be aware of that. Know where everybody's at. Know what's beyond your targets when you're shooting. Follow those safety rules and everybody will go home safe and have a good day on the range. Uh, again, if you're in the market for a good duty gun, I highly recommend Glock 17. Glock 19, Glock 22, Glock 23, anything that says Glock, I highly recommend it for a duty weapon. Just remember that whatever caliber you buy, the rounds that you have to pay for to put in that gun, it's going to be a little bit on the expensive side. And right now, ammo is hard to find. If you do find it, it costs a lot. So be mindful of that. But again, Glock 17. Streamlight TLR1, Hollison 507, and the Blackhawk T series. When you match those up, also let me point that out real quick. As you can see, I've just put the gun in the holster, got the hood down. The safety cap folds down whenever you pull the hood back over, it folds down to cover up the glass on the back of your optics. Whenever you push the thumb release, and the hood pops up, 
but this doesn't move. That will move as you go to draw the weapon out, whatever your red dot sight, it pushes up on that to clear it. Now, every now and then, the only thing that I found is that every now and then I might bump that and knock it down. So when you go to reholster it, it does cause a problem. So you might have to just, you know, take your hand and flip that back up. But holstering this gun is very easy and this holster, no problems with it at all. It is a really, really good system. I'm still running this with the Blackhawk Quick Disconnect setup. So that way I can take this from a duty belt, wearing it on my hip, down to my tactical leg holster. Or if you have any other setups on your uh, body armor or anything like that, you can wear it that way as well. But uh, I really love this setup for my duty setup. Um, I'm very pleased with it. And I am very, very thankful and grateful to the people at Blackhawk. Uh, you know, I called them up to ask them a few questions and I got the, I think it was their sales manager and he was very helpful. I mean, we sat on the phone and talked for a while and part of that conversation wasn't even about the holsters and stuff. It was just about, you know, us and military and law enforcement and stuff like that. So really good people. So I, I love supporting people who have great products and I appreciate their support for me as law enforcement and anything else like that. So uh that is all i have please don't forget this weekend tune in 6 p.m central time that is when i'm doing the giveaway uh you don't have to be watching to win everybody who subscribed to the channel i put their name on a uh it's an app that has one of the little wheels i put their names on there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna spin that wheel uh if you have a youtube uh, account I will post on there who the winner is as well as on my Facebook and my Instagram you will have 24 hours from that time that I announce the winner you have 24 hours to message me back on YouTube my Instagram or Facebook at outdoors with Creed give me your name to let me know that you were the winner and need your name and full address so that way I can order that stuff for you and get it sent out to you. And I will have to come up with some ideas for some other giveaways and stuff. Uh, maybe even do some raffles. I don't know. I'll see where it goes. But uh, just make sure you, uh, you're tuning in for that. Or be looking for messages coming from me saying that you are the winner. If you are the winner, again, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. Smash the thumbs up. Uh, trying to think of what else I might have missed. I don't know what I've missed. I don't think I've missed anything. But I'm about to go sit over here and watch some TV. And wait for my alarm to go off so I can feed my brother Snake. And until the next time, I will see you guys in the great outdoors or on the range. Be safe. Take care.